Hello and welcome everyone, I'm the Sparrow Jr. and this is this war of mine. This is this war of mine. That sounds kind of confusing. When we last left off, we went for a night out with Pavle and we got raided. I'm breaking down the episodes each time I go and scavenge during the night. And I start a new episode when Pavle reaches home. I hope that agrees with what you're thinking. If it doesn't, please let me know on the comment section below. We've been raided! Let's see what they've stole. I think I left Bruno to guard the place. Bruno is feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on him. He wasn't even sick, or was he? Katya, Katya got slightly wounded. Oh, so we probably left Katya to guard the place. And she got wounded by the raiders. Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so they didn't do much harm. Whew. Thankfully, we were all armed. Katya was wounded, but, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Wow, Katya deserves to be promoted. Honestly. So we got 24 components and we got 10 wood and also 3 simple parts. Let's see what we can do with this. So Katya is wounded, slightly wounded, so she better get some bandages. Pavle must be tired and he's hungry, so let's just give him some food and he's gonna have a day sleep. Not a night sleep because we are during the day. So Pavle, get to the bed. Bruno is also hungry and we have no food. So one of our concerns on the next scavenge should be food. So let's put the rain water collector to work. Also the moonshine thingy. Let's get Katya there. I don't think Bruno cooking skills matter at all with the rain collector or the moonshine. Now we need a filter. Um, as usual. So Bruno get there to make a filter. And we need some fuel probably. Yeah, we need one. And we only have four water, so that makes one moonshine. I'm happy with that. Let's burn, let's see. So people told me on a comment section on my videos that it's best to burn wood because you have unlimited amount of wood if you craft an axe. Because you can just start cutting wood from the furniture and other sort of rubble that it's around your house. I didn't know that, so I might want to start burning wood instead of components. I ha actually have a lot of components, so that should help me. Let's make two fuel. Let's make that. And I have a lot of components and I probably can't upgrade my workshop. That's what I'm aiming for on this episode. So let's see, I wanted a filter. So here we go, let's make one for now. Pavle is still sleeping. It's gonna last until maybe 1 p.m. Then we're putting Katya to sleep so that she can recover. Bruno is just hungry. Man, this guy is a beast. He doesn't get sick or wounded. That's amazing, for now at least. So let's see, let's make some water and let's make some moonshine. Can't have any more. We have a lot of sugar. So what I could need tonight, or what I'm in mostly need of, is food. Let's note that. And water. I could bring some more water. I mean, the rain collector thingy isn't cutting it. Let's put Katya to sit and have a rest. Where are you going, Bruno? You're not going to steal that chair. Help. Anyone there? I need help. Okay, let's just bring Katya to trade. I'm not sure if I'm gonna trade anything at all. Let's see what we should craft. Now, some people told me that I should make another bed. You know, with three guys only, I don't think that's really necessary or urgent. I guess I have better needs right now, like a radio. A radio would be really useful right now. And it only spin spent seven components, so I might want to do that. Now I'm reaching that point where I really must improve my workshop because there isn't any much of anything else I want to craft. So let's just improve the workshop, shall we? It requires a lot of stuff and parts. I finally have the parts required, so let's make that happen. Let's upgrade our normal workshop. I don't know what you call that. 
general workshop, whatever. Whatever suits your needs. Oh, this is not a traitor. This is someone asking for help. Help! My brother is wounded. You're the first person who opened the door. Thank you so much. Quickly, my brother was shot by a sniper. Please, help me carry him home or you'll die. There's no time to lose. Now, I have two options here. Either not help this guy or help this guy. I'm not sure which route I want to take. The lonely wolf or the helpful person. Now, there's good things and bad things about each of the options. If I help this guy, he will probably help me later on and maybe give me something for helping him. If I don't help him, my people will lose the morale because they will start thinking, oh my god, we didn't help this guy, so his brother probably died. We are horrible persons. I'm gonna help this guy. I've decided. But, uh, I'm not helping him with Katya because she's wounded. But she got bandaged. So yeah, just go. Just go, Katya. Go there and help the guy out. I guess you don't have a huge amount of strength, but, uh, we help that wounded man. So if we are in trouble one day, maybe someone will help us as well. See? I guess that's a good thing. Pavle probably has his bio updated as well. Helping our neighbor was the right thing to do. I'm glad we did it. See? Everyone's happy. So I'm happy that we helped the guy. So we now have a lot more stuff that we can craft. We can make a guitar. Make a concert for the other homeless people. Make everyone's happy. Trap for small animals. The only small animals left seem to be rats. Still, meat is a rare commodity in wartime. We need a lot of parts, dude. Again, that's what I'm noting. We need parts. Herbal workshop? Herbal garden. Mm-hmm. These things require a ton crap of components. And we can finally board up. We can board up holes and windows in the building for more protection against looters. I thought that this would protect us from the cold as well, but apparently it's only against looters. Now, I hope the trader comes by either today or tomorrow so that I can buy more components and wood. I'm now gonna start from now on scavenge the places for more important stuff like parts, like, let's see, weapon parts as well. I'm gonna start needing to protect myself. You see, a lot of stuff requires simple parts now. I'm calling them simple parts because that's the electronic parts, so let's just call it these parts. We have an armchair. An armchair is a comfortable piece of furniture. If you sit in it with a good book, you can almost forget about the war. Can I improve the other workshop? Probably not. Let's see. Oh, I need more components and I need more parts. So, yeah. Pavle is up. He's content. Wow, I didn't know about this state. So he's happy. I wonder how that affects stuff. So let's wait for that moonshine to finish. There's this thing I don't like about this war of mine. Now you can just rush things over and finish the day at, I don't know, 3 p.m. and go for the night. But um, the thing is, by doing that, you're not activating the rain collector. You're not picking up the moonshine. You're not, let's see, just picking up stuff that needs time into the game to complete. So that's kind of of a bummer. I'm gonna use another filter. Let's just make two of them. Because I'm kind of tired of always coming here to make that happen. We also might want... I don't know, to board the place? You might want to start doing that. But I'm gonna do that on the next shift. Let's just wait now. I'm gonna carry Pavle. Not literally. I'm gonna... bring Pavle to the next scavenge. And I'm gonna leave Bruno to guard the place. I could have used a second filter right now, couldn't I? I think that was a bad move. Anyway, anyhow, can I cancel it? If I cancel, will that filter go away? I don't want to risk it, okay? I don't want to risk it because that's 
components that I um, should use somewhere else. They always have their hands on their pockets. Is the cold coming now? I'm not sure. Let's finish the day and go scavenge some people. Now, last time I went for... Oh, now we had the supermarket and the quiet house. Lots of food, lots of meds, and lots of parts. So, we've got nothing to look for there unless we're will willing to steal. Hmm. I wanted to go to the same place I was before, which was the garage. So that I can trade for a saw blade and cut that place and break in the house. Use their saw blade to break in their house. I'm gonna try that. I don't care. So Bruno is gonna guard the place. Pavle is gonna be the scavenger. Let's do that. So I wanna bring... Let's see. Oh, they're consuming the cigarettes. Damn dumb. You know, we are in times of war. We need healthy people. Not really people that smoke. We have a lot of herbs. We can use them to roll up cigarettes. I might want to do that in the future. So let's see. I'm thinking the moonshine. I want to take... Let's see. Let's just take the herbs. And let's take... I don't know. Like this. Will this be enough for the saw blade? I guess the saw blade is a very costly item. Maybe cigarettes? Let's take the cigarettes. I don't want anyone to smoke in my home. Let's do that. Let's meet Mike. Was he called? I think that was the name I gave him. Didn't I loot everything on this zone? Probably not. Let's check these inscriptions. Someone scrawled on the wall. No more hiding. We meet in heaven. No, dude. We're gonna meet in hell. That's what I'm gonna end up at. Probably. Hey, you! I need matches for my father. Got some. Nope, I don't have them. But I have something else. So let's see. Give me that saw blade. And I will give you... Let's see. All of this? Oh! Two of them. Impressive. Uh, you know, I wanna empty my pockets. So just please take all of this. And I'll take something else. Like food. I really need food. Um, let's see what else. What is this? Hatchet. We can use it to shop furniture or... Beepo? <laughs> okay. I might not want to do that. I need weapon parts. But uh, right now, what I really need is food. So I'm taking that. There we go. Wow! The, this guy's... Really value herbs a lot. I mean, it's very common, but these guys... Just give them to me. Let's just ask for some vegetables as well. Okay, this won't do. Maybe... Maybe something else. You know, I want to take everything I can from these guys. <laughs> but okay, let's just leave it at this. Um, let's see, let's just take one. There we go, fine, we can have a deal. This guy is called Matey. He's a mate indeed. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, let's go up. And let's break into their home with a saw blade I just got from them. <laughs> I'm gonna end up in hell. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take... Let's see. I'm gonna try to improve my current workshop, the tool workshop, so that I can make the hatchet, so that I don't need to take with me so much wood. But right now, I might need the wood to improve that workshop. So I'm taking some. Let's see. I'm gonna need some components and parts and water. That's what I've written on my notes. And I trust my notes, dudes. That's why I write them. I trust in myself. Okay, three slots of components. We could use more. That vegetable um, that I have in my backpack could use some company, if you know what I mean. Okay, so the old man seems to be there. On this side. So that's kind of risky. Let's see, how much noise do I make cutting the, the freaking iron? Good thing I have a saw blade. Let's start cutting. Let's break into their home then. So I'm taking the sneaky way. It's evil. This item has broken. No! Good lord. It's just one use only? 
That's too bad. But okay, we are in. I hope they don't fix this crap. Honestly. Uh, so the old man should be down there. I don't know why I Oh, that's just the window making noises. Opening up and closing. Okay. So the guy's grandfather should be sleeping. So let's just scavenge this place. I feel so evil. But the guy does what he must do to survive. I need parts. There we go. I'm taking parts. I don't need anything else from there. Would be awesome to find some more parts or water. I have the food part covered. You can just run here, I guess. There's no one around. Here's some more parts. More vegetables. I could really use some vegetables. I see a lot of coffee. I could take that. It would make my people a little bit more comfortable. Mm, I still want those two slots for something else. I remember I had a lot of components, so I'm fine with that. I just need some to upgrade my workshop. So let's keep scavenging this place. You know, the very good stuff. The stuff you really want to loot is in here in the middle place of the map and that's where the old man is as well I bet this door is locked okay let's see if we can open it yeah I guessed as much so the guy is standing up now I could bring my crowbar next time then I am robbing these people outright robbing them without any shame that's kind of bad. But hey, decisions. That's what we gotta do in this game. So let's take some more components. I guess there's no other place to scavenge. Was there anything down here, I wonder? Can I close that window? That is making me uneasy. I hope they don't open this door right now. Let's go. Oh, there's no place to loot down here. Let's check the old man. I love to check old men, old people. There's no one in this room, really? Oh, there he is. He's sleeping. Can I get down here without him noticing me? Let's see. Oh, come on! So I need to take the boards off from this side. So definitely the next night I want to come here again to rob these people some more. <laughs> and I'm going to bring my crowbar. To break in this door. So let's just fill up our backpack. Not sure what else am I going to take. Probably some components. Um, maybe some coffee. I noticed there is a lot of coffee around here. In these car scraps. I wonder why. Oh, there's a lot of wood in there. Because these cars were probably made out of wood. Now, they will notice they got robbed. Because I notice if you rob them and you go away, if you stay here to watch their reaction, they know they were robbed. But I hope they don't know it was me. Because next time I ha might have a hard time meeting them. So we are back home. Let's do something with what we got. I hope Katya is here as well. Day 6! I heard that the end of the game is at about day 30. I can't confirm that, but uh, day 30 is really hard to reach. Katya is here! Good news. Katya returned to us after helping a wounded man. Pavle had been searching for supplies, blah blah blah. I got components, food, vegetables, wood, parts, and coffee. It was a great night. Okay, Pavle is tired, and he's probably feeling bad because we robbed some people. I'm glad we could trade with those men. We could do it again. Oh! We robbed them? But uh, what he likes to mention, or what he prefers to mention, as with, is that we traded with the guy. I'm fine with that. I'm not sure if I'm cheating the game or not. But uh, Pavle is gonna go to bed. These people are getting very hungry. Pavle is hungry. Bruno is hungry. And Katya is hungry. Everyone's hungry. Beautiful. So let's make... Hmm, I cannot make more moonshine. Because I need some more water. I have a lot of sugar. 
I could wait for this water to be complete, but meh. Let's just make this moonshine. I guess what really made us strongly trade with that guy was the herbs. He wasn't expecting that many herbs. But I'm focusing on moonshine right now, not on cigarettes. If I was focusing on cigarettes, I would probably would have want to keep those herbs. Okay, I want to make this type of cooked food, which is... You pretty much spend the same thing, but you make more food, is that it? A simple cooked meal, more nutritious and tastier than raw food. Hmm. It gets even better and more filling with vegetables, so... My guys will survive longer if they eat this type of food? That must be it. But we need water. God dang it. We need that water to happen. So let's just wait for the rain collector thingy. Let's see what else can we craft. I don't want to spend too much because I'm in hopes that the guy shows up and I can have some parts to improve the other workshop. I could just board the place but I need wood. What I'm looking forward to do is upgrade this workshop. I need one more part and make the hatchet so that I can finally have some wood, unlimited wood. I mean, that should be a bad side about just destroying furniture. I mean, I can destroy the, all these closets, but the place will probably start feeling a little bit cold and uncomfortable for these people. I will ruin the feng shui of the place. It's good when we can help each other a little, like Pavli did with those people. So Katya is gonna sleep right now. She's very tired. Pavli is gonna wake up. You know, it's the very first time that I have a good morale on these guys. Most of the time, I have a bad morale. Because either I steal, I kill. Yes, I've killed in this war of mine. You do what I got. you gotta do to survive. I better make that rain collector not stop. I think I need one more filter. Yep, I do. I should start making more filters. So, Brun is gonna eat. Pavel is gonna craft, let's see, two filters. Three filters, I'm going crazy. No, we better stay with six components wasted because I don't know how many I will need to improve that workshop. Please, dude, show up. I need to trade. I don't know at what hour they usually show up. Bruna is tired. I used to be an optimist. One of those people who'd have sworn that war wouldn't come. Wars happen far away in third world countries, or so I thought. Even when I was listening to the news, getting scary day by day. I did not believe all that was about to happen. Well, Bruno, I hope you believe now. Let's just use the chair, read some books, everything will be alright. Like the song. Let's work with the rain collector thingy. Uh, it's a shame that you cannot use more than one filter at a time. Which makes me believe that a second rainwater collector should be useful. You know, when you're crafting one, the tooltip says that you could use more than one. Seems a deal I made with the garage will help these people. Not sure what you mean with that. It seems that the guy just isn't showing up today, unfortunately. It's not something I can control. Uh, but Pavle is hungry, so we better give him some food. And his content is ready for a night of scavenge, I say. But you know what? Bruno could really use some rest. Um, I guess he's gonna stay in the chair. The guy isn't showing up today, unfortunately. And this is another thing I hate about this war of mine. Now, he could have showed up at, I don't know, 7 p.m. But because I'm just gonna end the day, he won't show up today. I have no chance. I would have liked something like, if I click, click end the day, a tooltip shows up and says something like, Someone is showing up. Do you want to just end the day or talk with that guy first? I can't confirm if that's a thing or not. It never happened. So, so far, I can say that it doesn't happen. So, 
Let's see. Katya is still tired? And she's hungry. So Katya will sleep. So that her stomach doesn't remember she's hungry. <laughs> and Bruno's gonna stay to guard. Pavle is gonna scavenge. We're going to the garage again. It's 30% scavenged. And we're gonna take the crowbar. We're also gonna take... Oh, we didn't finish the moonshine? We probably didn't pick it up. Can we go back? No, we cannot. God dang it. That was a bad move. Let's see, what else can we trade? We can trade, let's see... The coffee? Some of us drink coffee to find strength in order to survive another day. I think coffee keeps you awake. And then you don't have to use the bed, but I'm not sure of this. It's limited availability in war times, Make it, makes it available commodity. I'm gonna take that. I mean, I even found this on this very same place I'm gonna scavenge. <laughs> I'm also gonna take the herbs. I'm getting rid of all the herbs. I don't think there was any place to use a shovel with, so I'm gonna go like this. I hope you show up on the left side of the map. He doesn't. God dang it. I can't remember what was up here, so I'm gonna try and see. Because Pavlik can jump! Look at that. Usain Bolt with jumping skills. Hmm. Just take these components, I guess. And I'm gonna take some more wood. And that's gonna be it. You know, I want to craft that trap. And apparently I'm gonna need this to serve as a bait. So I'm gonna take this. At some point, you can just have, I wouldn't say unlimited amount of meat, but you can control the meat you get by using that trap. And you get meat, and the next day you can use, oh my god, what? Holy crap, what did I do? What is happening? Dude, I'm gonna kill you. Dude, I don't care. You were the first one to attack. What the hell is wrong with you? Dude, times of war, I don't care. Just kill him! Go, Pavler! Teach him... No. I just lost my scavenger. What the hell was wrong with that guy? Day 7. And we lost Pavle. Pavle, I... <laughs> Pavle was killed while looking for supplies. I, I kind of know that. So, not only we got no supplies for today, but we lost one member. And I can't believe it just killed us like that. Was it because the day before or the night before I was there stealing them? I mean, you wouldn't know. He didn't see me robbing them. This is kind of of a flaw in the game design, I tell you. He shouldn't know of that. Bruno is hungry and he's very tired and he's probably very sad as well. I don't want to get killed like Pavle. So, he's not worried about Pavle's death. He's worried about not getting killed just like Pavle. Maybe I could stay in the shelter while someone else goes out to search for supplies. What a goddamn pussy! Bruno, honestly. What about Katya? She's sad. Oh, Pavle. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. And she's a coffee drinker. So I should have kept that coffee, maybe. So Katya's very hungry, so just pick up... What? We we had food, didn't we? Okay, Bruno's gonna make some food. Let's make the rain collector to work. So Katya's gonna pick up the moonshine. I am... I don't know what to say, dudes. I was not counting on losing someone so early. So we have some moonshine. Yeah, this is definitely the moonshine I pick. So, whenever you make moonshine, it shows up here and you can drink it. The effects, though, I have no idea. But I, I don't want to use it. I want to use it. You can use some rest, but you're gonna cook first. Goddamn pussy. If you can't go out and look for scavenge, look for supplies, I'm gonna make you work here until you're dead tired. That's what's gonna happen. So, I'm gonna burn some wood. 
Uh, I have no idea what are the effects of moonshine, but uh, I guess it maybe it makes people more happy because you're drunk. <laughs> maybe that's it. I'm not sure. So let's just eat after Bruno starts cooking. Uh, God dang it. I need more water. So we want to wait for that water to be made. Uh, so let's see what we can craft. Can I now finally improve the workshop? No, because I got no supplies from the last night. Pavlo died. I'm more sad that the characters in the game. Just kind of funny. And sad at the same time. So, Katy is very hungry, which will require f her to eat two pieces of food. And I only have two of them. Someone's at the door. Let's see. Someone to trade, finally. I want those parts. Come on. I need one part. Let's trade for the moonshine. You know, I could use some help. In my first look video, I think. Or in one of my gameplays I was doing with the game. Someone showed up at my door offering me stuff. I don't think it was the police. I think it was the fireman. It was a help community that just showed up and gave me some food. I would really love to have that right now. So I want to give you some moonshine. And that's about it. I'm running out of supplies. This is the damage one night without scavenging can do. It's awful. And it's the start, start of game over in this war of mine. So I need some parts. I just need one, I think. So I'm going to keep it at that. I would want some weapon parts, but you don't have it. Because after upgrading that workshop, I can make some good weapons. Mm, let's see, what else? I can use some food. I don't know what cost me more. The canned food or this raw food. I would say it's the canned food because it's ready and prepared to be consumed. So I'm going to take this raw food. I'm going to take some vegetables. Let's improve the place the workshop and see what we need to make a hatchet. I'm not sure if I have all the components needed. So if I need something... What? Dude, just make that happen. Dude, come on. I need it right now. Bruno, come on. I needed to finish that and cook after that. So just, just don't think about bedtime yet. We are only two people now, Bruno. Please, dude, just don't go away yet. Don't do that to me. I've been through difficult times recently. We lost one guy. So let's see. For a hatchet, we need weapon parts. And the guy doesn't have weapon parts. Screw this crap. Come on. Ooh, helmet. It gives some protection against bullets and knives. You know... What I really feel like doing right now is picking up the knife with Katya or Bruno, go to that place again and kill the guy. Being a murderer. I even stuck up my nose on the microphone. I am pissed. I want to kill that guy now. I could use the hatchet because we can chop people with it, apparently. But I need weapon parts. So this was basically a good upgrade, but kind of pointless because I don't have weapon parts to craft anything. So Bruno's gonna cook. Uh, let's see what else can we get from this guy by trading the moonshine. Uh, I would guess I can trade some more food. That's what I'm in need of right now. If the next night doesn't do well for us, we're gonna be in trouble. Yep. It's gonna be the start of the end. I might want to take some pills. I don't have any. Uh, but uh, I guess they're kind of costly, so I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go for... I don't even know, dude. Art decisions. I'm gonna go for fuel. Let's go with that. I'm always needing fuel. Let's go for a filter as well. Nope. He's not having that. So maybe some parts? There we go. Two parts. I guess I need parts as well. So I'm gonna take some more. What? Wow, they're very costly. What about some more fuel? 
<laughs> I'm always trying to get to that max point that I can get from this guy. So right now, I'm not gonna send him off. I'm just gonna shut the door because I want to do things with privacy. But, um... I'm not gonna send him off because I need... Might need him later on. So let's make that happen. Let's put the rain collector to work. Do I need a filter? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Wow, I don't have enough components for much else. So I really need that hatchet because I'm also in need of wood. Let's make one filter. Let's have Bruno to eat. And he's very tired. Dude, you're so tired that you can't even eat. Is that it? What the hell is happening? He doesn't like his own food. I don't know. I guess he's very perfectionist. And something must be wrong with his own food. Let's make this water happening. And Bruno is gonna go for bed. And I guess Katy is gonna protect the place today. Or tonight. Um, I might have to take Bruno. He's very tired, but... I'm, I think Katya has a bigger bag, so I might want to take her. This is risky. I'm gonna be raided. Definitely. I don't know what will happen to Bruno if I leave him to guard, because he's already very tired. I'm not gonna risk to leave the place undefended, so I'm taking Katya with me. And we're gonna go to the garage, and we're gonna go all in. I'm taking the knife. I don't care, and I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna turn out a murderer now. I don't care. The guy killed Pavle. We must take revenge. And here are the things that Pavle had with him. I might want to go sneaky sneaky. But I think he's gonna show up. Because he always does. This guy seems to have an alarm system outside. So he knows we're gonna show up. I don't like that. Normally, the guy wouldn't or shouldn't show up. When I pick up stuff from Pavle, it's Pavle. At least his son survived. Should he be told that his father is dead? I'll think about it later. How would you know that his son survived? Spoilers. Okay, we're gonna try and sneak in. We're gonna pick up the knife or we're gonna activate it. So that if we need to attack this guy, we will. At sight. I don't care. Okay, he is almost dead. So, we should be good to go. Time to have a laugh. Oh, come on, Katya. Just stab him. What the? There we go, he's dead. Oh my god, the old man. Will you attack me as well? Please, what am I going to do without you? I don't care. Did you know he attacked me? Maybe I want to kill all the family. No witnesses. Good lord. I, I, I kind of feel bad about this. But I don't care. I'm gonna scavenge this guy. My lord, this game is harsh. <laughs> but I'm laughing. I'm having a blast. Okay, I'm gonna take the pistol. Definitely, I'm gonna take the pistol. I already have the knife, so I don't need it. I need some ammunition. I need a lot of parts. So I'm gonna leave here the wood. I'm gonna leave here the fertilizer. These were stuff that I was gonna take... ...to trade with the guy. But the guy's dead now, so... He's definitely dead. That's what I can say. We're gonna take some more important stuff. Let's see what the old man has. He has nothing. Good to know. I, I can't go over the fact that I've just killed some people. Food! I'm taking that. Ooh, a hatchet. Already crafted. Dude, I've killed some people. But I'm taking so much useful stuff. This will make up for Pavlis' death. Definitely. I just need to bring someone that can carry more than 12 slots. Currently, I don't have anyone. Uh, I hope that guy with the 15 slots shows up so I can use him. And have a fourth guy in our gang. I need a lot of components, so I need to take them, definitely. Uh, more and more of them. Let's take four slots of them. And next night, I'm gonna come here with all the freedom I want. And I'll take everything I need. Right now, I must take 
these four tools. So I already have the hatchet, so I'm counting on just destroying some furniture on my home. So that's gonna be it for this night of scavenge. I'm gonna go away and run to the exit. This girl will be as sad as ever. She probably killed some people for the very first time. And she killed an old man. That's even... It's killing... If killing some people is sad, killing an old man is probably even more sad. It's day eight. I'm gonna leave. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This death was the, was the last straw. I'm done. And I was raided. Bye-bye.